Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Gyan Sampada where we are going to continue with another method to find out the thickness of thin films. In our previous class we saw that in order to find out the thickness of any thin film mainly there are two approaches. One is electrical measurement and another one is optical measurement. Under electrical measurements we have already studied the resistivity measurement and capacitance measurement through which the thickness of a thin film can be monitored and under optical measurements we are having again two approaches mainly optical absorption and optical interference and in our today's class let us deal with the first measurement that is optical absorption in order to find out the thickness of any given thin film. So when we hear the word optical easily we can understand that it is related to any type of radiation. And that's why it can be named as radiation absorption method. So this is the first type of method under optical methods which we are going to study. So clearly we can understand that any type of radiation which is incident over the thin film certain amount will be absorbed and based on the absorption of light or radiation we can determine what is the thickness of any given thin film. So how it is carried out let us see. So this method is also called as optical density method. So both are one and the same because using this method not only the thickness can be found out but also the density of the thin film can be found out. And as radiation is involved it is named as optical density method. So we know that the absorption of light it may be any kind of light it depends on the thickness of the film. So the thickness dependence of the absorption of light, X-rays, alpha rays as well as beta rays may be utilized to determine the thickness and the thickness distribution of a film. Also absorption depends exponentially on the film thickness. That is several works have verified the exponential dependence of absorption on film thickness for especially continuous films. And the absorption in discontinuous films is strongly influenced by the granular nature of the films but it may be used for relative measurements of average film thickness. We cannot find out exactly what is the thickness because of the discontinuity of the films. Discontinuity means non-uniform and in that case we can't say that throughout we are having the same thickness but however we can compare and find out the relative measurement of the film thickness or approximately what might be the thickness of that film can be found out. So that is the difference between the continuous and discontinuous film and generally for higher end applications we use continuous films itself and absorption is going to depend exponentially on film thickness. Then certain points we need to remember like the absorption or the scattering of X-rays, alpha rays as well as beta rays emitted from the radioactive isotopes have been employed for thickness measurements. Especially I am telling about X-rays, alpha rays and beta rays because when we study anything in condensed matter physics it is related to the atomic scale and in order to find out the crystal structure or any detail about any crystal we generally use X-ray diffraction method. That is X-rays are utilized for finding out different parameters because the wavelength of the X-rays is going to match with the atomic dimensions or the crystal parameters. And that's why here also for the thickness measurements generally we use X-rays, alpha rays and beta rays because of the matching of wavelength with respect to the atomic dimensions. And if we use lower frequency or higher wavelength radiations the measurement cannot be so precise or we can say absorption is not going to take place so that it can give any information to us. And under this the thicknesses from less than 100 angstrom to about 1 millimeter may be measured using especially alpha ray and beta ray absorption. Because if we compare the thickness range then the radiation which is suitable for absorption is alpha ray and beta ray. Also electron gun sources can be used to provide fast electrons for absorption studies provided that the Bragg's reflections are absent that is the material should not have any preferred orientation. 
because if Bragg reflection is going to take place then we can observe certain amount of energy gaps or discontinuity in the energy level diagram. So such a measurement can be performed inside an electron microscope also and the maximum thickness is limited to several thousand angstroms for 100 kilo electron volt electrons and this method is useful for especially finding out the thickness of thin insulator films. Then we need to know how it is actually going to work or what is the process going to take place. So let's see what is the working of such a setup. So it is very simple as you can observe in this diagram. So this is a beam photometer to monitor the optical density of films of all types of materials. Here we can observe there is a light source through which the radiation is going to get incident and certain lens and apertures are used to focus the beam onto the film. So this is the film of which we need to find out the thickness and when the radiation is incident over the film certain amount will be back reflected and certain will be absorbed and there is a beam splitter which splits the beam over to the lens where reflection detector is there and also there is a absorption surface and after the lens which is behind the film there is a detector which is going to detect the transmitted radiation so if we need to find out the amount of radiation absorbed just we need to know what is the amount of radiation transmitted or reflected so by knowing the transmitted radiation as well as reflected radiation we can find out what is the amount of absorbed radiation that is incident radiation minus the reflected radiation as well as transmitted radiation will give you the amount of radiation which is absorbed by the film and by using the relation we can easily find out what is the thickness of the given film. So when the radiations are incident on a surface some scattering is going to take place. The back scattering of beta rays depend on the atomic number, density as well as thickness of scattering material and its measurement is going to allow us the determination of the film density as well as the film thickness. So this is a simple working of radiation absorption technique which is evident from this beam photometer. So this technique employs a beta source that is carbon 14 with an energy 0.16 mega electron volt or PM147 with an energy 0.22 mega electron volt of strength approximately 50 units and conventional laser tube detectors that is nothing but what we generally see under GM counter and Behrens was the one who has described a system for measuring the scattered electrons and hence the film thickness especially in D by Scherer cone what we observe in D by Scherer camera which is used to find out different parameters of any crystal using x-rays. So this is a brief explanation about optical absorption method to find out the thickness of any given thin film especially the thin insulator films. So in our next class we are going to deal with the optical interference methods for measuring the film thickness. Till then study well, stay safe and thank you for watching.